In this piano tutorial, we'll be learning the song Goodness of God by Bethel Music, and I'll be focusing um, a little bit more on the version done by Israel and Newbreed, which is actually in the key of G major, right? And like always, I'll be sharing my approach to the song. I'll basically go through the song sharing some gospel or jazz chord substitutions and passing chords that we can use, not only in this song, but any other song with a similar progression, okay? So this song starts off with a an introduction which sounds something like this. Right, so that introduction is a very simple melody. And this melody is played over a progression which goes from the three to the four, then the five, and then the six, right? So three which is basically played as a 1 over 3, then the 4, then the 5, and then the 6, and then we go back down to the 3, then the 4, and then we finish off on the 5. Right, D major, okay? So in combination... What I like to do is instead of playing triads in my right hand, I play the the drop two voicing of the chord. So I play G major in this voicing. Then I play the four in this voicing, right? C major. Then the five in this voicing. And you will notice that sometimes I can't reach the whole chord with one hand. So what I do is I use the sustain pedal to spread out the chord like this, right? And then for the six, we're up here on E minor. And this method of using the drop to voicing is helpful because we can fill up a little bit more, um, fill up our chords a little bit more rather than just playing either a single bass note, right? Or simply playing an octave. We can play an entire chord with our with our left hand, and that actually frees up our right hand to also play other things. Right over here, we were simply playing a single note melody, but we can actually double up on the octave and also include uh, a note in between the octave that serves sort of a, a secondary harmony, if you want to call it that. Right. Right? So in combination, right? That's one way of playing it. Let's say if we if we want to play it at a lower register. So that's the introduction to this song. And then we go into the first verse. It's another simple progression. We start off on the one. I love you, Lord. Right? One. Then we go to the four. For your mercy never fails me. Back to the one. And all my days. Right? Here we use the five over seven as a passing chord to get to the six, right? This is the, the basic way of approaching this song. Um, I've been held, then the four, 
in your hands up to the five so let's see how a different way of approaching these chords right like always um as i like to do in my previous tutorials i like playing the chords in a way that the melody stands out and the way to do that is by having the melody be the last note in the chord right and it doesn't necessarily have to be that way for every single chord but i throw it in there here and there right um to make it stand out so we can play this g major and this voicing right as you can see there all i did was include sort of a an extra melody to land on the actual melody when i play the chord so i love you lord right we're here on the four and then we're back to the one now in this part of the song, remember we use the 7 as a passing chord to get to the 6. But there's a chord or there's a progression that includes both the 7 and the 6 that can actually be used in substitution to, to form sort of a, a passing chord to get to the 6. So we can play a 7 and after the 7 we can play a 3 and then finally get to the 6, right? But if we try to maintain the melody, we can play it in this way, right? Seven. I voice it in this way, right? F sharp seven sus four. In reality, it would be sort of an F sharp minor eleven, right? Seven. Then a three. Right, this three we can either voice it simply as a B seven or include some alterations, right? And then we finish off on the six, right? E minor seven. Sorry. Right? Seven, three, six. So I love you, Lord. Da -da -da. Now we're back to the five to the four. Right, I'm playing a big chord here. C major add two. And then a five. From the moment that I wake up. Now in this section, we play a six, right? The basic chords are six. Four until I lay my head. G, the seven, and then the six, right? I will sing Then the four of the goodness Then the five of God Right, so here we played From the moment that I wake up We went from the six directly to the four But in Israel and Nubri's version What they do is actually go from the six Up to the seven And then the one And finally land on the four Right, all within the actual time. So it would sound something like this. From the moment that I... Right, sort of a, a different set of passing chords that we can use to get to the four from the six. So... Once again... Until I lay my... Right, so here what we do is play a one, seven, and then a six. But we can actually change um, the seven for something else, right? Instead of just playing a, a five over seven, we can actually change it into a three over seven, right? It still works out because if you think about it, there's a couple of different ways to get from the one to the six, right? We can play one three six right you've probably heard that in some songs right that's one way to get to the six but we can also use the seven right which was which is actually part of this song 
but what happens if we combine both? We can use the 7 on the bass, but with the 3 on the right hand. And this 3, as you can see, is actually voiced as a dominant chord, okay? To land on the 6. So, from the moment that I... Now in this section, um, as I said before, it was simply a four of the goodness to a five of God and then a one. But this section is also done slightly differently. We actually play a four, a three, then a two, voice as a dominant chord, and then a five, and then a one, right? And it sounds something like this. So from the moment that I... So what I did here was start off on the 4, then I play G, sort of as a melody. Then I play the 3, which is a 1 over 3, right? Again play G. Then I play this A7. Then I play this 5 sus chord, right? D9 sus 4. And then we finish on the 1, okay? And I will sing. Right? You can either play it with the octave as I was doing, or you can just... so that's that first verse and actually this verse is also played the exact same way as the part that says i love your voice right very similar you have led me through the fire progression okay all my life again maintaining that melody so the voicing will include G as the last note and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so now in this section we sort of have a space in between the one and the five right we can um sort of include other chords in between these two chords so instead of playing so so good we can play a one so then a six and then the five and then before getting back to the four we can simply include a three as a passing chord to get back to the four okay so this would sound something like this all my life you have been so so we did before I will of the goodness of God. all right so 
let's move on into the bridge which is actually very similar to the introduction right a very similar melody and it starts on the three again so your goodness is running up then the four is running up then the five and instead of going to the six we go down into the one after me okay so your goodness is running up is running to me all right so what we can do here um is simply spread out the chords a little bit so your goodness right this is the three is running after four is running after now here instead of playing a five we have the option of going to the seven for example right is running after me and then back to the one or we can simply um stay on the five is running after next section um let me look up the lyrics so with my life with I surrender all. now here um usually what we play is a five i give you everything and then we finally land on that six from the introduction remember but instead of doing this we can sort of use some gospel chords right so with my life up, I surrender all I give you everything right so all I did here was play the five then I used this diminished chord as a passing chord right and actually side note uh, a very simple technique that we can do to use diminished chords as passing chords is think about the target chord right or the destination we want to get to e minor so all i did was go down a half step and build my diminished seventh chord from there right which is basically all these notes are separated by three half steps okay and we can actually play around with um, which notes to include, which notes to, to omit, right? We can separate some of the notes just to give it a different harmony, okay? So... the six back to the three four is running after me and then we're back to the one and that's basically the whole song right there we can actually experiment a bit more with this same progression right um with my life laid down, i surrender all i give you everything right we can do that seven three six again i give you but after that the rest of the song is exactly the same so what i want to do now is play the whole song without any interruptions and i'll actually include a a midi file in the description so that you can basically download it and learn this section as well okay